Are the writers time travellers or are they related to Nostradamus? The Simpsons, the animated comedy, airs its 33rd season in 2022 and never disappoints viewers with its eerie predictions that ring true years later. The Simpsons is an American animated sitcom created by Matt Groening for the Fox Broadcasting Company. The series is a satirical depiction of American life epitomized by the Simpson family, which consists of Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. The show is set in the fictional town of Springfield and parodies American culture and society, television, and the human condition. Since its debut on December 17, 1989, 728 episodes of the show have been broadcast. It's the longest-running American animated series, the longest-running American sitcom, and the longest-running American scripted primetime television series, both in terms of seasons and number of episodes. The Simpsons family is made up of several characters, but the main characters are Homer, Marge, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie. Each episode is filled with the Simpsons family interacting with other residents of Springfield, including guest stars that appeared in some episodes of the show. Yet what intrigues viewers is how some events were predicted by the Simpsons writers at least five years before they happened. Could it be that the Simpsons really predicts world events, or is the world just following the Simpsons script? The Simpsons have constantly predicted the future and they've been right about things that at the time of airing seemed so wrong. So wrong, they were hilarious. For example, a former reality TV star becoming the President of the United States in one episode. That turned out to be Trump. The predictions ring true so often these days that you really do start to wonder if we're all living in a simulation. Would that make Matt Groening Morpheus or the Wachowskis? Never mind. Regardless, there have been a number of theories that The Simpsons predicted, from 2021's US and UK fuel shortages a decade prior, Lady Gaga's flying entrance at the Super Bowl, to Toys R Us closing from as early as 2004, and a big plot twist in the Game of Thrones. This track record has led the show's legion of fans to think that The Simpsons is, at the very least, a product of television's most intelligent writers and, at the most, prophetic. The future can be forecast better than one might think, said Al Jean, one of the show's original writers and its showrunner since 1998. Episodes of The Simpsons air a year after they're produced, he said, so it's just a sort of frame of mind that we've got that we think one year ahead. And then he joked that, I predict people will make too much of our great predictions. The answer to their predictions is even more objective than can be imagined. The show is the product of brilliant minds, many Harvard educated, according to William Irwin, whose book, The Simpsons and Philosophy, has for years been taught in college courses at the University of California, Berkeley, and other schools. Mr. Irwin is the chairman of philosophy at King's College in Wilkes Bar, PA. It's a widely known fact that writers rule on The Simpsons and not the actors. The result is a show packed with references to art, literature, pop culture, politics, and science. And when that many smart people produce a television show, it's bound to make some startling predictions. The Simpsons will tell you what is planned, not predicted. While everyone thinks it is a prediction, it isn't. It's called predicting programming. And it's with its fine prediction streak that The Simpsons expectedly has made predictions about cryptocurrency. In an episode from the eighth season, My Sister, My Sitter, first aired on the 2nd of March, 1997, the show neatly presents Homer and Marge on a date outside the crypto barn, outside of which a slogan casually states, a place for codes. While perhaps designed to be part of the neighborhood's less illustrious infrastructure, selling spy equipment in addition to these generic codes, its echoing of today's cryptocurrency outlets is uncanny. Cryptocurrency has previously featured on the show in Season 31, Episode 13, called Frinkcoin. Actor Jim Parsons, who played Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory, referred to it at the time as the cash of the future. The Simpsons brought in Jim Parsons, best known for Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory, to explain the concept of cryptos. As of press time, according to markets.bitcoin.com, Bitcoin is exchanging hands at $63,200 with a market capitalization that stands at $1.18 trillion. Episode 18 of Season 32, titled Burger Kings, shows Marge Simpson is seemingly hooked on stock trading specifically with a fictional stock of plant-based burger chain Excellent Burger, run by town billionaire Monty Burns. 
while Marge checks the stock's performance on an episode of Crazy Cash, perhaps a parody of Jim Cramer's Mad Money, Real-time data on the fictitious market channel shows Bitcoin accompanied by a green infinity symbol. Bitcoin priced at infinity seems to indicate the show creators are either very bullish on digital assets or believe the system will crumble. Interestingly, after Bitcoin's quote, video game retailer GameStop GME, appeared on the scene. Following the sarcastic style characterized by The Simpsons, the famous stock, known for being fueled a few months ago by a community of investors in Reddit, posted a trillion in gains and then immediately plummeted two million, parodying the stock's high volatility. Given The Simpsons' relationship with cryptocurrencies, it's no surprise that it has hinted at Ripple's XRP occasionally, and it has now made a prediction about XRP's protracted lawsuit with the Security and Exchange Commission, or SEC. In December 2020, the SEC sued Ripple and its executives Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO, and Chris Larson, executive chairman of Ripple's board of directors and former CEO and co-founder of Ripple, for alleged illegal sales of unregistered securities related to the XRP token. Ripple has an immense financial war chest to fund its legal defense and is giving the SEC all it can handle in the ongoing back-and-forth battle. Inevitably, the SEC suit overhang has taken toll on the price of the XRP token, and every time Ripple has an upper hand in the lawsuit, the coin XRP immediately soars in the market. For example, in April 2021, Ripple won a legal battle for access to SEC discussions on defining crypto assets and securities. That news coincided with an explosive 75% rally in 30 hours. On May 30, 2021, when Ripple stopped the SEC from accessing certain legal records, XRP jumped 13%. In October 2021, Judge Sarah Netburn issued a ruling in favor of Ripple Labs and it triggered a 17% rally in XRP's price. In early February this year, we saw XRP gain 30% after Ripple got permission to explain the fair notice defense versus the SEC. And most recently, the price increased 8% on March 11th when the SEC's motion to strike Ripple's fair notice affirmative defense was denied by Judge Annalisa Torres. And now it appears there might be yet another catalyst for such turnaround. This time around, it is in a familiar prediction space. You got it right, The Simpsons. A group of enthusiasts among Team Ripple have mentioned in one of its episodes that The Simpsons have predicted that Ripple would win its case against the SEC. If we're to go by previous evidence at hand that The Simpsons' predictions are logical and have come to fruition so far, then it's safe to presume that Ripple would win the case. Once Ripple wins the suit against SEC, we all know what follows. XRP will rise in the crypto market tremendously. As always, the best line of action is to buy and hold onto the coin right now. However, to be on the safe side, we should all know that Ripple is a token with either massive upside or significant downside from here. Investors can prudently buy and sell as they please now, and also when Ripple has won or settled the case. Kindly like and leave a comment in the comment section about what you think about The Simpsons' prediction of the XRP vs SEC lawsuit. And please turn on the notification bell for quick updates on when we release more interesting discoveries about the cryptocurrency world. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.